Gal Gadot Barsano is an Israeli actress and model. She portrayed Giselle Yasher in Fast and Furious, a part she reprised in five sequels. Wikipedia Born April 30, 1985, age 39 years, Petah Tikva, Israel. Spouse, Jaron Barsano, M. 2008. Height, 1.78 meters nationality, Israeli. Parents, Irit Gadot, Michael Gadot. Siblings, Dana Gadot. Gal Gadot is an Israeli actress and model. She was born in Petah Tikva, Israel, to an Ashkenazi Jewish family, from Poland, Austria, Germany, and Czechoslovakia, who Hebraized their name from Greenstein to sound less European. She served in the IDF for two years, and won the Miss Israel title in 2004. Gal began modeling in the late 2000s, and made her film debut in the fourth film of the Fast and Furious franchise, Fast and Furious, 2009, where she appeared as Giselle Yasher, she reprised the role of Yasher in several subsequent installments of the Fast Saga. Gadot went on to achieve global stardom for her portrayal of Wonder Woman in the DC Extended Universe, including in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016, Wonder Woman, 2017, and Zack Snyder's Justice League, 2021. She has since starred in the Netflix action comedy film Red Notice, 2021, and the mystery film Death on the Nile, 2022. Gal is a motorcycle enthusiast and owns a black 2006 Ducati Monster S2R. She has been married to Yaron Versano since September 28, 2008. They have three daughters. Family. Spouse. Jaron Varsano, September 28, 2008 Present, Four Children Children Daniela Varsano Maya Varsano Ori Varsano Alma Varsano Parents Irit Godot Michael Godot Trademarks Statuesque, model-like figure Trivia she served for two years as sports trainer in the Israeli Defense Forces, between ages 18 and 20. She won the Miss Israel title in 2004, and represented Israel at the 2004 Miss Universe Beauty Pageant. While not filming Wonder Woman 1984, she visited patients of Inova Children's Hospital in Falls Church, Virginia. Gave birth to her first child at age 26, a daughter named Alma Varsano, in November 2011. Child's father is her husband, Jaron Varsano. Her first and second name respectively mean, Wave and Riverbank. Her first and second name respectively mean, Wave and Riverbank. Is the first non-American actress to play Diana Prince slash Wonder Woman. She was up for the role of Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy, 2014, but it ultimately went to Karen Gillan. Her family is Ashkenazi Jewish. Her father is a sixth-generation Israeli. Her maternal grandparents were born in Europe, and her maternal grandfather, who was from Czechoslovakia, survived Auschwitz. Her other ancestors lived in Belarus, Lithuania, Russia, Poland, Austria, and Germany. Gave birth to her second child at age 31, a daughter named Maya Varsano, in March 2017. Child's father is her husband, Jaron Varsano. Her husband, Jaron Varsano, owned, with his brother, a hotel in the Neve Tzedek district of Tel Aviv. In April 2015, it was sold for $25 million. Enjoys basketball, volleyball, and tennis. She is the first actress to portray Diana Prince slash Wonder Woman for live-action theatrical films. All previous actresses performed the role for television. After deciding to turn to acting, her very first audition was for the role of Camille in the 007 film Quantum of Solace, 2008. Ukrainian actress Olga Korolenko ultimately won the part. She was offered to portray Faura in Man of Steel, 2013, but turned it down due to her pregnancy at that time. The role was passed to Antje Trau. Her favorite films are American Beauty, 1999, and Fight Club, 1999. Gave birth to her third child at age 36, a daughter named Daniela Varsano, in June 2021. Child's father is her husband, Jaron Varsano. 
Ranked number 84 on Maxim Magazine's Hot 100 Women of 2014 list, starred with both brothers Ben Affleck and Casey Affleck in two films released in 2016, Triple Nine, 2016, and Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016. Gal was not aware of screen testing the role of Diana Prince slash Wonder Woman for the production of Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice prior to December 4, 2013. She reportedly thought it was Selena Kyle slash Catwoman. Selena Kyle slash Catwoman was previously performed by Michelle Pfeiffer in Batman Returns and Anne Hathaway in The Dark Knight Rises. She will be the first Israeli actor to receive a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame. She had never eaten a Reese's peanut butter cup until she tried it on The, the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. She and Linda Carter, who is also known for the role of Wonder Woman, both made appearances in Disney films. Gal voices Shank in Ralph Breaks the Internet, 2018. Linda performed as Principal Powers in Sky High, 2005. Quotes, I definitely have a strong sense of my Jewish and Israeli identity. I did my two-year military service, I was brought up in a very Jewish, Israeli family environment, so of course my heritage is very important to me. I want people to have a good impression of Israel. I don't feel like I'm an ambassador for my country, but I do talk about Israel a lot, I enjoy telling people about where I come from and my religion. There aren't enough good roles for strong women. I wish we had more female writers. Most of the female characters you see in films today aren't the poor heartbroken girl. That's why I'm so proud of the fast movies. I feel like Giselle is an empowering woman. My height is 178 centimeters which explains how I got on the high school basketball team. I was not an amazing shooter, but I ripped them on defense. On Wonder Woman's smirk in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016, I did that. I remember after we did that take, Zack, director Zack Snyder, came to me and he said, Did you just have a smirk? I said yeah. And he asked, Why? I think I like it, but why? Well if, Doomsday's, gonna mess with her, then she's gonna mess with him. And she knows she's gonna win. At the end of the day Wonder Woman is a peace seeker. But when fight arrives, she can fight. She's a warrior and she enjoys the adrenaline of the fight. On fans backlash over her casting as Wonder Woman, they said that I was too skinny and my boobs were too small. They said my head was too big and my body was like a broomstick. I can take anything. It's just empty talk. I can understand that part of what I'm doing means being exposed. And part of being exposed is being under fire. When I auditioned for Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016, I didn't know it was for Wonder Woman. The director, Zack Snyder, asked me to do a camera test. That was torture. They were looking at six or seven girls and we were all in separate trailers, and were told to stay inside until they called us. Waiting is my enemy number one, and I was losing my mind. So, I decided to put on Beyonce. Who runs the world? Girls. I just started to dance, and I let my anxiety go. Thank you, Beyonce. On whether she knew that the Wonder Woman film was going to be a hit, there's always how you feel about something but you never know how it's really going to be once it's all done and ready to go. It felt like it was special. When we shot the movie we were so invested and so thoughtful with every decision we made with the character and the story, I was so privileged to work with an amazingly phenomenal filmmaker, Patty Jenkins. But we didn't expect it to be so well received. When asked if she was disappointed by the public skepticism of a successful superheroine film, I've got to be honest and say not really. I read all the articles about how the previous female-led superhero movies didn't work out very well. It took over 13 years for the studio to really go and shoot Wonder Woman. But once the decision was made, I didn't fear. And after I witnessed how the audience reacted to Wonder Woman and Batman v Superman I was sure that it was going to do well. Whenever I read those type of articles it got me boosted and more motivated to show that they're wrong. On favorite scene from the first Wonder Woman movie, there were a bunch. There were favorite scenes to play, I loved shooting the watch scene, and the dance scene in the square. But watching the movie, 
I loved when Wonder Woman first revealed herself by crossing no man's land. Patty Jenkins and I could communicate with no words. I enjoyed filming every second of the movie, Wonder Woman. Salaries Red Notice, 2021, $20 million, includes back-end deal. Wonder Woman 1984, 2020, $10 million. Justice League, 2017, $300,000. Wonder Woman, 2017, $300,000. Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016, $300,000. <laughs>